Four. Right now at four, authorities are searching for the driver wanted in a deadly crash that may have been caused by road rage on the beach line in Merritt Island. 58-year-old Jeffrey Brookshire was killed. The 26-year-old woman in the car with him still in the hospital tonight in critical condition. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Ginger Gadsden. I'm Julie Broughton. And I'm Lisa Bell. Tonight, troopers need your help finding the other vehicle that was involved. News 6's Vanessa Ariza is live from FHP headquarters. And Vanessa, you spoke with the victim's fiance today. What did she have to say? Lisa, she told me that she and Jeffrey were actually supposed to go out of town this past weekend, but at the very last minute decided against it. Now, state troopers are asking you to keep an eye out for this red vehicle they say was involved in Saturday's crash. 26-year-old Shannon Fisher was airlifted to Holmes Regional Hospital Saturday after a road rage crash ended like this. This blue Mustang is the car she was in. The driver, 58-year-old Jeffrey Brookshire, died as a result of the crash. I just saw the Mustang go flying across the street right there and park on over the bridge, hit it and there's people outside the cars. Five 911 calls were made to dispatch. Cocoa Beach police arriving on the scene as the calls were being made. Troopers say Brookshire and the other vehicle were driving eastbound on State Road 528. Witnesses say that you had been getting in front of one another for some time. It looked like the um, blue Mustang got in front of him and put on his brakes or something. And then it looked like the red car was slamming on his brakes, too. They've been doing that all the way. It's believed the red vehicle hit the back end of Brookshire's car, sending it across the lanes and hitting this SUV. The two people inside had minor injuries, and they are expected to be okay. We spoke with Brookshire's fiance. She wasn't ready to go on camera, but did tell us the two were planning to go out of town this weekend, but changed plans last minute. She said he's a man who loved his Harley and Mustang. And here's what state troopers want you to keep an eye out for. A red vehicle bearing the license plate with the Endless Summer logo and a sticker that reads Hammock Hippie. Now, state troopers say that they have received more than a dozen tips in and they have ruled out just as many vehicles that may or may not have been involved. Now, they do say that this red vehicle will have front end damage and it also may have blue paint on it from that uh, vehicle, Jeffrey's vehicle, that blue Blue Mustang. If you have any information, you're asked to call state troopers. Lisa? Vanessa Ariza reporting live for us tonight. Thank you.